Hey there, I'm Yankel, and today's topic, pot roast. I'm gonna answer some of the most common questions, such as the best cut of meat to use, how long to cook it for, what temperature to set your oven at, and how to modify the recipe for your favorite appliance. Of course, I'm also gonna show you how to make it taste incredible with a couple of pro chef tips that are gonna change your slow cooking game forever. So we're starting with a medium high heat. So I'm going nice and heavy with salt and pepper. And now we're gonna go into a little bit of flour. Now we're going into the flour because we wanna build a gravy while we're cooking the pot roast. And the best way to thicken up a gravy is with some flour. So instead of adding it later, we're just gonna coat our roast with the flour on all sides, shake off the excess, and now we're gonna go right into our hot oil. We want that nice and hot. We wanna to start to build up a crust. We wanna brown the surface. Now you don't wanna skip the browning process because this is where all of the flavor comes from. We are literally changing molecules to make it taste and smell amazing. So we're just gonna let it sit there for a little while. In the meantime, we're going to prepare some of our aromatics that are gonna flavor our braising liquid. I think we're ready to turn this baby over. Here we go. Yeah. So we're getting a nice brown crust. Now we're gonna sear the other side. All right, I think we're ready to flip it one more time. So right now, I'm gonna sear it on its side, like so. Make sure every edge gets a nice sear on it. And now I can add my vegetables right into that beautiful beef fat that we're getting. You can see it's browning in the pan really nicely. I want it to brown, but I don't want it to burn. And I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to make that bottom of the pan really add to your dish. Let's go into our pan. Already smells amazing. This is one of those comfort food dishes that just makes the whole house smell incredible. And it really doesn't take that long. All right, we'll stir those around. While those vegetables are sweating away in my meat juices and fat, I'm going to tie up a little bundle of herbs. I'm using rosemary today. You can use your favorite herbs. You can leave out the herbs. And then I'll save a little bit of herbs afterwards for garnish on the dish itself. And I'm gonna add the herbs to the pan right now. So that looks pretty good. Let's flip our roast over. Get the other edge. Oh, that's a nice crust happening right there. We're gonna let that one side sear just a couple seconds more. Get the bottom edge. Get the top edge. Flavor, flavor, flavor. I can say that. That's not copyrighted. Flavor. All right, I'm gonna take this out for a moment. See all that beautiful brown stuff at the bottom of the pan? That is Amazing. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. Now, you want some acidity when you're roasting something or braising something slowly because the acid will help actually tenderize what would normally be a tough cut of meat. So we're gonna go right in. And I like to add the tomato paste before I add the wine. Stir that around a little bit. And now you can see right at the point where things would start to burn, let's clean the bottom of the pan. So I'm going in with some red wine. That looks beautiful. I'm gonna go right in with my beef stock. I'm using no salt beef stock because I like to control the salt element. So I'll do that by myself with seasoning. And we're gonna go in there. Now we want the roast covered about halfway with stock. That looks good to me. I save a little just in case we need it. Roast is going back into the pan, right in the center. And we're, we're about halfway. I think that's good. That looks amazing. We're gonna bring it to a simmer, we're gonna cover it, and we're going into the oven. Three hours later, let's see what we got. Huh. That looks perfect. But let's give it a little poke just to make sure it's perfectly tender. Oh, you can tell by the wiggle, that's a tender pot roast. Now, don't just take it out and serve it. 
build in a little time for it to rest in the liquid. It's going to reabsorb a lot of flavor and a lot of moisture, and we wanna let that happen. So I'm gonna leave it semi-covered. Hot. Retain some of the warmth, let a bit of the excess steam escape, let the pot roast reabsorb a little bit of that gravy. About a half hour. All right. It's rested nicely. Gravy looks good. Get that little stir. You can see a nice, nice thick gravy right there. It smells incredible. It's absolutely fork tender. You don't need a knife or anything like that. We're just going to add a little bit of fresh herbs, a little pop of color, a little bit of flavor. Use your favorite. I'm using some fresh parsley. Just a real rough chop. You know what, I'm not even gonna chop them. Just gonna tear them up a little, pull out a little bit of the flavor right over the top. So there you have a super easy, fairly quick pot roast recipe. It's tender, it's juicy, it won't dry out if you follow these instructions. You're gonna enjoy it and you can apply this to any other slow cooking item. And by the way, if you don't wanna use a Dutch oven like I did for this recipe, you can use a crock pot five hours on high or eight hours on low, or you can use a pressure cooker if you're into that kind of thing. 35 minutes on high pressure should give you a pretty tender roast. Anyway, that's my spiel on pot roast. I'm Yankel, go make something delicious.